Hey guys, just here. I have a DIY for you today. I built my very own craft island. Uh, as you can see here in this picture, it is chock full of storage. It is a, a great size workspace, super easy project. I built it in like one evening and relatively inexpensive. So I wanted to share with you how to build this if you're interested in creating one or building one yourself. I will have a list of uh, materials in the description below as well as the overall size of the craft island. So we are going to go ahead and get started on this tutorial. I hope you enjoy and I will see you on the other side. Thanks for watching. Okay, so for my craft table, um, you're going to need two of these two by six um, cube units, the 13 uh, inch cubes. I got mine from Target, they're the Threshold brand. I'm actually also going to add a four cube at the end, but uh, two cubes is fine, it's depending on the size of your tabletop. So I've got two uh, two by three cube units and one two by two cube unit to go under my craft desk. And then let's scoot over here. For the tabletop, I've got a 35 inch by 65 inch melamine tabletop. So it's like this uh, white kind of vinyl on the top here. And then you can see it's particle board in the middle and there's a trim that goes around. It was fairly inexpensive. For a four by eight sheet, I think it was about, I don't know, $30, $33, somewhere in that price range. and. I got it at Home Depot, they cut it down to size for me, so that is going to be my worktop. And then I'm going to come back around here, and I've got table legs. So, um, unfortunately, I just wanted just the regular rectangular ones, but Home Depot didn't have all of them in stock, so I got the fancy one as well. Not a big deal, it's table legs. Nobody's really going to look at the legs. So they're the same height. Even though the design's different, they're the same height. And these are uh, six inch. Here, let me share the label with you. Six inch tall table legs. So I am kind of short. So the combination between the cube units and the, the tabletop and these legs should make a perfect counter height for me. It's like kitchen counter height, and that's what I was looking for. And then to attach the legs to the cubes, I needed to get brackets. So these are just simple leg brackets that I'm going to screw to the bottom of the shelves and then legs screw in to this bracket. So all in all it's going to be super super easy. Uh, oh yes, one more thing. Oh here's the trim for the tabletop. You iron it on. Hopefully it will work out okay. And then I also got some straight brackets here. Um, these are to connect the cube, cube units on the inside so they don't come apart. So I want to make sure it's really secure. So I'm going to connect them on the inside uh, with these. And then I got some L brackets. Let's see. Right here. I got some L brackets to attach the tabletop to the cube units. So it should be nice and secure uh, when all said and done. So yeah, let's get building this thing, shall we? All right, so the first step in building this craft island is to build the base. And so what I'm doing is I am uh, taking out each of the cube units, all the pieces, and grabbing the base pieces so uh, I can start attaching the legs. So this is what um, obviously is going to elevate the cubes and uh, hold all the weight. So I want to make sure that um, the bases are stable and attaching the legs at the end isn't as and wouldn't be as easy. You could still do it, but I don't recommend it. So very important step here. Um, so I am getting the first base here now and we are going ahead and installing the leg brackets and the legs. So as I showed previously, I bought two different styles of legs because Home Depot did not have all the rectangular ones. So what I'm doing is I'm attaching the rectangular ones on the four corners and then the designed one in the center. And for installation, uh, these brackets, these triangular brackets have uh, one flat edge. So I'm simply lining the flat edge up with the edge of the shelf and, and screwing in the bracket. 
And then it is as easy as screwing in the leg after that. The super, super install. Anyone can do it. I was like a little anxious. I'm like, how am I going to install like legs on a shelf? I've never done that before. This couldn't have been any easier. Anybody, you know how to run a drill? You can install legs. It's that easy. So I'm going through and installing the four, the five legs, I should say, on the first cube unit. And then I am going through and doing the same thing on the second base of the unit. And once I have all the legs uh, on the base units, both of them, I am combining them together so we can uh, add the straight brackets. So essentially creating one solid unit. And so it starts with making sure that these units become one and the little straight brackets are the, the key piece that do that. Because remember, these are two separate two by three cube units that we're trying to make one cohesive desk. So if you leave them separate, it's gonna be, uh, in my opinion, probably a little wobbly, things will shift around, and you really don't want that. You want this desk to be nice and stable and secure. So it's key to make sure you get those uh, straight brackets and combined the two bases. So with that, I put one straight bracket in the center of each of the leg sets on the bottom. And then we're gonna go ahead and continue to build uh, the rest of the cube units. And I'm gonna uh, speed this up a little bit more and uh, put on some music um, so you can see how it goes together. Oh my god you guys we have a craft island look at this oh my god I'm trying to get the best angle because I've got stuff everywhere and I can't walk around like efficiently but I'm trying to give you guys a view 
um, to the best of my ability. I am super pumped about this. Oh my god, I'm just like so excited. Let me see if I can get you a different view over here. Isn't that awesome? So I was questioning the height. I was just like, oh my god, did I make it too tall? But once I stood at it, um, it was perfect. I'm not hunching over at all. So I think I'm going to leave it as is for now and make sure the height works for me before I do anything. Um, uh, the legs, thank goodness, are made of wood. So I can, I can cut them down if I need to. But I'm not sure that I'm going to need to. So i um, pretty stoked about this right now. <laughs> like, I'm super, super excited. Um, so the other piece of this is there's a big overhang on either side right now. So what I need to do now is I have two more four cube units. And so I'm going to add one to the side, um, probably the right side of this, so that the overhang isn't so big on either side and I have some more storage. So there's that I need to do. And then the other thing I need to do is I need to decide um, whether or not I'm going to have a slight overhang here or if I want it flush um, and have just the overhang on one side. I'm thinking I want it flush and the reason is because I want to have drawers here and I think it would be kind of weird to have a bit of an overhang and try to pull some drawers out. So I'm trying to decide on what to do there. Um, so I think I'm going to I'm going to sit on it and for a day or so and, and try to think what's the best option. Because uh, I'm going to stand working here and I want to have supplies right here that I can pull out. Um, so maybe just a slight overhang but not as dramatic. I'm not really sure. <laughs> so I need to figure that out. But um, obviously it's not center and I got lots of stuff in the room but it is so awesome to have this table. It's a huge working space. I can have um, people over to scrap with me now. Plenty of storage and it was super easy to build. Like so easy. And let me get in under here. And as you can see I've got some brackets here and there holding it together. And I also did some brackets underneath. So the last thing I'll need to do is um, once I get the other cube unit, I'll do some brackets under here so that the tabletop is secure. But this is it so far. We've got a little bit more work to do, um, but uh, we are getting there. I'm so excited. So, so excited. All right. Well, we're going to keep going. And uh, oh, my gosh. So exciting. Oh, OK. We're going to keep going. Okay, here it is. So I just added the end cabinet. Oh my gosh, it just finishes it off. I just, 
when you walk in this is what you're gonna see full of beautiful product I'm not sure what I'm putting there yet but it really just finishes off and there's the top I'll give you a closer look and there are the legs at the bottom isn't this just awesome and then so you come around here's all the cubes where there's gonna be drawers and such and then don't mind all the boxes and bins <laughs> the other side and again such a huge workspace I'm super psyched about that and then we come over here and here is your other side how fun right oh my gosh I'm so excited and then so I have all my supplies behind me and around me at arm's length I can have company come over friends come over and scrap with me so yeah I'm super pumped about this table so not sure how much my excitement is coming through about this project in my craft table. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I am still so excited about it. Um, and so what I'm showing you here is I actually ended up purchasing uh, a set of the Calyx unit drawers. I got them on Amazon. A um, little more expensive than buying them in store, but I was able to uh, install it into the threshold cube with a little bit of... Um, uh, finagling I had to add a couple of wood pieces but uh, uh, it came out great and I'm so thrilled to have that additional storage a drawer type storage in my unit so I did that and then um, I uh, later on added or attached the tabletop and added the trim around the the melamine so it all looked complete and so now I'm going to be sharing with you the final uh, view of the table as a whole so ah, it came out so good I can't wait for you to see it uh, so here we go hey guys just here so here is the final product of the desk I've got the trim uh, ironed on the ends. I'm sorry I don't have a video on that, but it was super easy. You just literally use an iron and and heat it on, and it's pretty durable. It doesn't look feel like it's coming off, so it, it came out really well. Um, that was kind of one of the last pieces, and I realized I didn't get a chance to video how I attached the tabletop. So this is the the four cube end piece. It's free moving. Um, I did that on purpose, so just in case I wanted to sit closer with my chair under the table or move that desk elsewhere. I don't know. I just didn't feel necessary to attach it. So I left it free just to have that flexibility. And then if you come over to the sixth unit here, the main part of the desk, I took an L bracket, as you can see here, attached one to the cube, one to the desktop or the top of the desk. And then I did that on all four corners. Here's the other one. And then I also did it on the side. Sorry about the movement of the camera here. I'm trying to get good angles. This one's a little longer. And one down there. And I did it on the other two sides as well. So this tabletop is really secure. It's not going anywhere. Um, it's really nice. This table is solid. It doesn't shake a lot. It's, it's the perfect height. It's a little taller than actually kitchen counter. It's probably closer to me or a little shorter than bar height. Kind of in between, I guess. Um, but I'll I'll make sure to put the exact dimensions of this craft table um, in the description below so you have all the exact measurements as well as the materials that I purchased it for. So yeah, so this is the final product. I'm like loving this table so, so much. I'm loving the layout. I feel creative. I'm excited. I mean, I've always loved my room, but this just opens up a whole lot more possibilities and I love the clean lines and the storage and it's just more than I hoped for. So this is a really fun project. Very, very easy to do. So if you're looking for a craft desk, you know, you can make this any height. Um, and one other thing I wanted to mention that if you wanted to make it shorter or you wanted to like have leg room for a chair here, you could actually just do, um, two cubes on either side like uh this four cube you could do one on either side and then you have the center open for your chair to slide in and out if that's important to you and i don't think you would need any legs on it and it would be perfect desk height if you didn't want a standing desk 
So there's lots of options to customize it for you, which is really nice. I think that's important. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure to give this video a like. And if you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all so much and I hope you have a wonderful night. Happy crafting.